Hi, welcome to Workspace Talk, where we discuss everything from home to commercial furniture. I'm your host, Joe, and today we are going to focus on CET designer training. Stay tuned for future episodes of product reviews. Let's begin. Hi, welcome back to Workspace Talk. We are going to be discussing everything that we went over in the previous episodes, one, two, three, and four. We're going to put it all together today, and we're going to get started right away. So go over to your drawing view and click on 2D. And we're gonna click and drag the window all the way over. And you're gonna notice it took us into the uh, 2D view mode. And go ahead and place your rectangle right in the middle because that's gonna show up uh, right in, in your view right over here. So you can notice that, hey, it, it lined up and my previous um, settings for scale are 3 8 You could change them. Uh, 3 8 looks good with the text. And if I did quarter, sometimes it looks a little too small. So that's that just shows you uh, why. We're going to click on visibility. And from the previous episodes, we're going to start off with the panel plan. So click here on the bottom under custom view modes, panel plan. And you're going to notice that your, um, you know, your settings show up. Click and drag these yellow dots and resize your window. And what we're going to do is scroll all the way down here to text, click on label, and go ahead and enter a label. I want to call it panel. And just kind of center it a little bit. And you can click on the 2D window and also the text. And uh, while holding down the control button, let me do it again. Click on here while holding down the control button. Uh, you can select text. And then after that, you can click on the letter A for copy paste. And what that does is if you uh, pull it down directly, you'll get this um, little magenta dotted line. And you can just simply copy that over. Click it off to the side. Let's do the same thing again. Click on the text. Click on the 2D. And hit the letter A for copy and paste, and then drag it along. And then that way it, it kind of snaps uh, orthogonally to the right for you. And then just uh, click on your button there. And we're going to click on the 2D and change the visibility. All the, um, we're going to call this one electrical. And then click on the text. And we're going to just call that electrical. And click over here. This one's going to be component. Select component, click on the text, change that to component. On your own, please try experimenting with the add-ons. So you have everything set up and you want to print. Let's go all the way up to the top under the tools icon, or you can hit control P and go make sure that your paper views, make sure that first of all, you're in the report settings slash um, dash CET report uh, tab. Make sure that your paper views are just is the only one selected. So make sure that has a check mark. And then you want to go all the way down here to settings and make sure that create a note, Adobe, an Adobe PDF document and ask about file location is check mark. So that way you could route uh, wherever it is um, loaded on your network. And then make sure to select only the paper views that you want. Uh, shown. So just click on that and you can even change the name over here. So I called it install plan. Click on create PDF and for speed, I'm just going to drop it to my desktop and PC. And I'm just going to call this one erase, but you can call it the correct name. Hit save. Oh, I'm having issues. <laughs> I'm going to hit desktop. I'm going to hit save. Okay. Now it works and everything shows up and it's only one page. So remember to check mark the pages that you want. Everything seems to come out looking okay. And I hope you find this tutorial useful. Thank you so much for joining me.